Happy Friday. So today we are um, going to show you one of the systems that we're getting ready to ship. And I'm going to make this video about um, the inner workings of an air table. So we have this system here behind me. This is going to be shipping to Canada. They're going to be using this for aluminum copper radiators. And one of the things that we do uh, is put a screener before the air table when we're doing uh, ACRs as they're called. So uh, this is not part of it. So this is just sitting here on top, but this is the air box. Clean air comes in through this uh, pipe here and there's two filters. There's a pre-filter and a secondary filter. There's a big blower in here. And what that blower does is it pressurizes inside of here let me see if i can turn the light on boom lights on so the air comes in through that opening back there so this whole bottom here gets pressurized this whole area and there are these baffles inside here forgive me for the echo but the baffles inside here deflect the air and oh and then another flashlight here that helps so the baffles here deflect the air and the air blows up and hits this deck. So this deck here, we're gonna go to the back side. So the way that this works here is, and you can see here the hole in the front there when I move side to side. So that normally that door is closed and then this hole surface is under pressure so the air blowing from below in this blower here causes this portion to be under pressure and that pressure transfers up to this deck it's uh, about 400 or so micron mesh is, is this so nothing can fall through but air can come through and then what happens here is this deck which is adjustable up and down it moves in this motion like this up and then down up and down really really fast so it makes the material jump up the screen as it's going and what happens is the air blowing from below causes the light material so in this case going to be aluminum copper uh radiators going to be used on this on this air table those little aluminum flakes are going to float on that bit of air when that floats that is not allowed to touch this deck the copper is heavier it sinks to the bottom and those little pieces of copper climb up. Eventually you end up about here, a, a line of copper separation and the aluminum will stay back here. Or if you're doing copper and wire, it will be copper at the front and then your plastic, uh, your, your plastic will be in back if you're doing insulated copper wire. So in this case here, this customer is doing aluminum copper radiators and those flakes eventually accumulate as new material comes up, comes down the chute onto it that aluminum flake will accumulate and accumulate and then tumble off the backside because this is just at a, at a downwards angle the light material just kind of tumbles off so the, it's not the action of the table that makes material go down it's just the accumulation of material that makes it go down the action of the table makes the heavies go up and the only reason they're able to go up is because they sink to the bottom and as this deck makes the material climb up it just jumps all the way up so hopefully that's um a good enough explanation of how this works and these decks are um are are replaceable you can clean them using brake cleaner it's probably the best way it depends on if you're getting clean air into the inlet so if you're getting clean air into the inlet in from a dry spot where there's no dust uh you'll be cleaning the side filters here uh, maybe maybe once a week or so i had some customers say as as once a month but um, this deck here won't get dirty from below as long as those filters are clean. However, if you're doing anything that's got a little bit of oil, like the, even the PVC insulation on the wire and the oils that are in the aluminum copper radiators, it will start clogging this deck and then you use brake cleaner. Brake cleaner seems to work best. Um, carb cleaner works good too, but not as, not as good as brake cleaner seems to really break everything down best. Um, and then on the side here, there's a makeup air. So the way this works, because obviously this plate's on here and everything is, is under pressure, 
you, with these doors closed, you don't want the air to blow these doors open. So you have your dust collector, which is hooked up to that, that back chute uh, up top. Material is coming in through the airlock, and then you have your takeaway on, on the backside or on the top here. Um, see if I can go climb up here, right here. So that's connected to your dust collector. Um, and that's the fitting that goes on top there. And what happens is if your doors are being blown open, you need to vacuum more. But if you come up here and your doors are, are like, like pulling shut and you can't open them, you can make up the air. So that's kind of a, a little cheating device to uh, put makeup air into the system. So if you're pulling a little too much to your bag house, you can always open that up and let makeup air in. If that's still not enough, well then you really need to turn down the bag house. Hopefully that was good enough of an explanation on the inner workings of an air table. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you next one. Happy Friday.